Well, I thought I thought they did what you know, Coach McClain said they were going to do in his, you know, in his, in his press conference this week. They were going to look to really drive us, and if they got to the free throw line, they probably win the game. And we got to the free throw line 29 times, and you know, we we, we struggled scoring, we struggled shooting the ball, we had some bad droughts there, especially in the second half. We made a great comeback, but uh, you know, when you go 28 from 8 to 84 from the field, that's not going to win a lot of games when you do that. We'll go ahead and open up questions. Please wait for the microphone. Make sure to state your name and your affiliation. And just a reminder, if there are not any questions for the student athletes, we'll let them go back to the locker room. Scott Benson from the Green Bay Press Gazette. Link, in the last four minutes there, when they were up by 17 points, and you kind of go RP40 like you did against Wisconsin, did you kind of think back on that game and, and the fact that it was kind of happening again? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a uh... I mean, it was a great run. Our guys did a great job, you know. It's one of those things where they got the big lead, so they're probably not going to attack. So you can gamble a lot more. Um, you know, we got a few steals. We hit, I mean, I think we were, if you take the three threes that Jamar hit, uh, we were one for 19 other than that for three point line. Um, you know, we made a few shots. We had a couple steals. We got to the basket. You know, we got it to a one possession game, you know. And there, I, I felt we could have got a stop. You know, they called a, called a foul in the corner. Um, you know, 94 feet from the basket, if, if we could have got a good trap kept in there, you know, who knows, we might have got another steal for a basket. But, uh, you know, we got them turned over a few times. You know, it was, it was a good run, but a little bit too late. But it's hard to do that for 40 minutes against a team that's going to drive and attack. You know, they were in, you know, they were in the slow down mode at that time. Charles, before you got here, you said that you weren't at all satisfied with the numbers preceding that you weren't going to be satisfied until you guys saw this through. For you as a senior as well, how tough is this to go out in the first game like this? Uh, real tough, especially coming off the tournament we had last year. You know, you, kind of, you know in the back of your mind that maybe you can do it again. But, you know, it's my senior year. We lost first to, you know, the seed. At least somebody that's three seeds voting us, um, it hurts. But it's March, so it happens. Mike Pankow, UICFlamesBasketball.com. Uh, Karem, um, what's going through your mind when you guys fall down by 17 and then make that comeback there? Um, we should have started as soon as we could. Uh, 14 that has six seniors and three juniors, we should have not let them have their run, and then they did. Are there any other questions for the student athletes? Carolyn, as you kind of look towards next year, which is difficult to do, um, how confident are you in this team that you guys can kind of adjust to losing a lot of big time scores and veterans with six seniors leading? Um, like I said, I'm not satisfied with uh, the results that we had this year. So next year, I'm going to come back uh, in a hungrier and we're just going to work really hard in the summer. You, you had uh, talked about the fact that UIC was going to be a tough matchup. You were not taking anything for granted. But when you look at the way this tournament has gone, with no no higher seeds actually winning the game yet, do you feel like this was a, a, an opportunity squandered even a little bit more because the road was a little bit different than people would have thought? Well, I've said all along anybody could win this tournament. You know, I read somewhere where the Horizon League's not a very good league. People are crazy. We got three teams next year that could be top 25 teams. Very easy. Um, you know, they got a lot coming back. And almost every team but us, and, and probably Valpo, we, we lose a ton, they lose a couple, everybody else has got about everybody back. Now, UIC's got everybody back. They had, they had one of the best scorers in the league back. Uh, Oakland, everybody back but one guy, and then they bring a guy that every 16 in the Big Ten. You know, Northern Kentucky got just about everybody back. And also, I think. I think the league's really good, and I said it from the beginning, anybody could win this, and I still think anybody could win it. You know, it's about getting hot at the right time. I wish they would have switched the benches around on us where the home team was on the other end last year. You know, I think they jinxed us by doing that, but, you know, it, it, it's been amazing. And Oakland beat Johnstown twice. Um, um, 
trying to think who last night. So Valpo beats Milwaukee twice. We beat UIC twice. It's hard to beat teams three times in a year. I don't care what league you're in. It's a tough, it's a tough thing to do. You know, and, and UIC, both times we played them, they had us down. I mean, it wasn't like we controlled the game. They had us down. We weren't looking ahead even when the games happened last night. Other people do. You know, the fans out there, they don't understand how good UIC is. And they started the year four and two, and they had everybody healthy. They lose to the Valpo first game. They lose to Oakland on a, on a tough call at the end of the game. They could have very easily been five and one when they got a couple guys hurt. Now they got everybody back. Uh, you know, I, I know Coach McClain said that they thought they could have finished in third place if they had everybody healthy, and it's probably true. We'll go ahead and dismiss the student athletes. Thank you. Are there any other questions for the coach? <laughs> was Trevor ever a possibility to play? I know you suited up and everything, but were you really not going to use him unless it was completely necessary? Well, I, I, yes, we, we weren't going to. And then we, we got down to 15, and I said to our coaches, we, we put him in here, maybe get in a couple shots, but why take the chance? He's had one day of practice in five weeks. You know, and we only went 15, 20 minutes. It's, that's, that's hard to do. It's hard to ask a kid to come in and do that. This wasn't a great matchup for him to come back with a back injury and have to try to sit down and guard their guards. Um, we kind of had him ready to go in case it was an emergency situation, but you know, when we got down to 15, I, I asked the assistants, do we want to throw him out there? And you know, that we all came to this, it's not, it's not worth it. You know, you hate to throw him out there and something happens to him and now he's out another, another three months. I know you probably don't care at all about next year right now, but when you, when you do look ahead and you you lose these six seniors, but you have some talent coming back. Is it hard to know exactly what to expect from this team next year with, with so many guys? Well, we'll be the youngest team in the league, probably. We'll probably be the least experienced team in the league. We'll probably be picked 10th in the league next year, um, you know, because we got beat first round, you know. Um, but, you know, we got, we got some good pieces coming back, and Karen, we got a low post score. Um, we got to get him to finish it better around the basket. You know, we got to shoot. Like the other big guys in the league, we got to get him to shoot 55, 60 percent. Um, you know, we got Khalil coming back, who's on the all defensive team. You know, we got Trevor coming back, which is going, which is going to help us. You know, losing him, you know, that, that was a big loss for us. You take a guy that you're, you know, and the amazing thing is nobody ever talked about it. We lost our starting point guard that led us in minutes, and we went seven and four without him. That's pretty good by those guys. You know, nobody ever talked about that. Our third leading scorer. You know, our starting point guard, your quarterback, the guy that's running the show out there, you know, but we got him coming back. I think Cam really came on there. And then, you know, we got some guys that are sitting out. We'll have to see them. We've signed some good young guys, but, you know, it's, it, you know next year we got, we got a lot of work to do. It's not going to be not going to be easy right now, but we, we, we can be good. You know, we got to find a couple more missing pieces. We got to have some guys that are going to really dedicate themselves this offseason to getting better. Uh, Coach Joey Chomsky with the Horizon League. Um, not just Odiasi, but kind of throughout their roster collectively, is that kind of one of the most athletic teams, if not the most athletic team in the conference? Oh, I, I think so. I mean, them and, them and Oakland would be, would be probably the two most athletic teams. But, uh, you know, they got good size and, you know, they block a lot of shots. They, they, they affect you going to, the, going to the hoop. You know, they get up and they guard you. They get after you on, on the defensive end. And, you know, he's, he's done a great job there. And I knew when, when, we, when we were the third seed and they were going to be the sixth seed, this was going to be a tough matchup. You know, pe people don't realize that. They just look at a record. You know, but they're, they're a pretty good team. I mean, they're a pretty good team. And I know this, they, they got a chance to, you know, they got a chance. They're good enough they can win it all real easily. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.